Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. Three add-ons to your Rudy Tooty Point and Shooty storage that I think may help you out a whole, whole lot. Let's talk about that. Today's episode is brought to you by all of you patriots. Every thumbs up is fantastic, so thanks for that. Comments down below are always welcome. Appreciate each of y'all. Surprise, surprise. Nothing like those Gomer Pyle references y'all keep asking me to do. Y'all are the joy of my heart. Merry Christmas. Hey, I want to talk to you a little bit about the USA 30 and give you an update on it. And I want to say this. I'm back in Murder Hallway again. All this week I'm in Murder Hallway. And it, this sounds a little funky. It's very tight in here. And so the B-roll that I'm going to roll for you is done with my phone. I did my best. But it's very tight if you couldn't tell by the name. This is literally a hallway. So... I'm doing my best to film in here, but I do want to get you updated, and I think this is important. About a thousand of y'all have asked me to give you an update on that USA 30 that I showed y'all last fall, so I'm going to give you a brief overview how it's gone for me over the last year, and then I've got three add-ons that I added to that that has really kicked my storage up a huge, huge notch. This is not a commercial, and I'm not a rep for Liberty. I'm not. That's the truth. I'm not. I don't get paid anything for this. I did notice before I press play, I'm wearing my Liberty Gunworks shirt, but that's not Liberty Safe. This is not, again, it's not a commercial. I'm not a rep. Opie and the Smokies is a rep in Knoxville. So y'all shout out to those of y'all that know my buddy Opie. He's in Knoxville. I've not even been to his store yet, but I do have friends that recommended Liberty to me, including not just Opie, but also Cheyenne Dalton out in Missouri. So that's how I ended up with Liberty USA 30 last summer. Let me give you an update. Now, I just wrote some quick notes here and took some B-roll quickly for you, but on the outside, everything after a year has held up fantastically. It still looks great. The top of it has kind of turned into a de facto storage flex in there, some Russian steel ammo on you. But on the inside, you know, everything has gone really good as far as how the inside has held up. I still think it looks fantastic. It still, I think, looks brand spanking new. I have not used those door pistol hangers I just haven't. I know some of y'all do, but I just think it's weird to hang pistols on a door, and I just haven't used them. I've used the little pockets, but not the overall hangers. Now, you can configure this bad boy however you want. Here's how I did mine, because these things do move up and down, and you can sit the shelves in there however you want. I put the smaller ones up top or left smaller spaces up top for all of the pistols, and then down in the bottom, I left bigger spaces for the ARs on the left, the full-size ARs, and then the SBRs and the pistols on the right. And then also, I have some space in here to lay a big boy in here sideways. There's the Bergera. Y'all haven't seen that yet. This is y'all's fault. That gun is your alls fault. We'll talk about that coming up in a few weeks. But I do lay that one sideways, and it fits. It fits in there just fine. So again, everything fits in there really well for me. I kind of have things stacked in there kind of neat right now for that video. I took two out of each lower section, so they look neat, but I get about two more in there. So you can stack a ton in there. Now, here's the three add-ons that I added in. And again, y'all have asked and asked, what did I do? I just did three things, and I really, really recommend these next three. Again, not a commercial. Number one, I added in LED lights. And I just jumped on Amazon, and I found a pair that I liked, and I read the reviews. And so I have LED lights that go up all the way up and around, and they just come on as soon as the door opens. They are motion activated. So I do recommend that. I'll put a link to those right down there. They're from Amazon. Buy them or not buy them. Up to you. But I do like those. It's my favorite thing that I did. Now, here's a little something more important. Number two is I added in a golden rod. That was because of y'all. Y'all told me I have to have a golden rod in that thing. It plugs in and it just sits down at the bottom. I got the 18-inch one, and that helps with the humidity. I want to mention, speaking of the humidity, I've not had any problems in this. I contain, in this room, I contain with a dehumidifier the humidity. I lower the humidity, and then I also have that golden rod in the safe. I look at my stuff really carefully all the time. I mean, I, I was inspecting stuff just today just to watch and make sure, and everything is flawless, not even a speck of micro rust. So everything really, really has gone well. Shout out to the Golden Rod. And number three are those high score pistol organizers. Y'all have seen those before. I love those things. Some of y'all have not recommended, said, hey, there's better options, but I like them. They're soft and they come in six packs. Again, a link down below to that as well. So for me, there's three recommendations for you. Just a quick video to jump on here and, and give you an update. But also, I want to hear how you all have been storing stuff. What have you learned along the way? I have done lockers before, but the lockers that I've used, those 
Securants, they're good, but they're open to the elements and in a place where they maybe have a little more humidity, I wanted to control that humidity a little better. Plus, I just wanted some more security and that for me was a good choice. Now, I mean this, not the 15th time I've said it's not a commercial. I fully, completely, big thumbs up, recommend my experience with the Liberty Safe. I know there's bigger models out there. There's nicer models. This is a nice entry model. If you want to know the specs on this, I have a different video and I'll put the link up here to that one. Now, everybody says this about safes. When it's time to buy one, get the biggest one you can afford. I filled that bad boy up in about two weeks and I need bigger. So my recommendation to you is what everybody told me, get bigger like, and get more because you're going to need more space eventually. But for me, again, big thumbs up. Huge, huge recommendations. It's one of my favorite things in Murder Hallway. To anyone that is against us or the opportunity to store whatever we would like, yep, y'all hadn't seen that one in a while, to anyone that is against us and our freedoms to own and to store safely whatever we would like, yep, from my cold, dead hands. See y'all, bye.